Okay. So I was dispatched at 10:13 in the morning to a, a female having complications with childbirth. Um, I arrived on scene within a minute or so. It was not too far away from our police department. Um, I arrived there. I noticed there was a female in the in the bathroom that um, was obviously experiencing some um, childbirth pains, labor pains, and uh, then her boyfriend was in the living room. He directed me to where she was. Um, I immediately rendered uh, aid um, by giving her oxygen and checking her vital signs. Um, after that, I uh, tried to make her comfortable um, by positioning her more in a laying position. Uh, put some, uh, basically some towels and some blankets under her, um, positioned a pillow behind the back of her head, and just and just try to calm her down because she was she was experiencing pain. Um, I did tell her that uh, we uh, that the ambulance was coming, but it wasn't here yet. Um, I immediately one of the things that I noticed was that the baby was crowning and that I could um, see the top of the baby's head. So I basically told her that I wasn't going to leave her, that I was going to be there for her, uh, and that I didn't have experience with this, but that she did. So um, she had a child before, so she so she had the experience, but that I would not leave. So. Uh, it was just her and I, and we, we were going to take care of this. So I, basically, I, what I did was keep her calm, and uh, she then um, started labor. And within six to eight minutes from the time of my arrival, uh, the baby was born. And so I tried to relay all that to dispatch as best I could. Um, and the baby was born. Baby uh, was crying and breathing, and, and mother was doing well. Um, and shortly thereafter, um, other personnel arrived, and shortly after that, I had an ambulance. So um, that's basically it. We got her to the um, into the ambulance and uh, took her to the hospital. And the uh, last I've heard, everybody's doing well. Um, I've heard from the family; they're doing well. Everybody's healthy, and uh, so I was glad I could be there to help. Okay, and uh, so with the situation like this obviously yourself being a father being through this uh, with your own family uh, three times but uh, not really having sort of a training to go into this mm -hmm. situation I guess what did you what did you rely on once uh, once you got there just to go well on? I obviously didn't have any experience with that but I do have countless of hours of experience in stressful situations um, and I've had extensive training in that so I just relied on my training to keep calm and um, also my faith to keep calm and that I was going to, that I and she and their family was going to get through this and we would get help. Um, I knew that I was her only uh, resource at that moment and so I, I put that pretty strongly on my shoulders that I, I had to um, be there for her. She was already stressed, and stressed out enough so uh, she didn't need me stressing out um, or not being able to um, provide for her so um, I basically stayed calm that's that was the key to that I mean that morning was maintaining a calm demeanor um, for her and uh, everything else kind of took care of itself